My name is Melissa and I'm reviewing the Sounding Board app. The Sounding Board app can be purchased from the iTunes store and can be downloaded onto an iPod, an iPod, iPhone, iPod Touch, and an iPad. I'm using the app right now on my iPod Touch. That's why it's, it's smaller here. Um, the app is free, actually, um, but to, to purchase um, additional communication boards, those are run from about I think 99 cents I think is what I saw um, on here earlier and these are all you know pre-made templates which there aren't that many so um, you'd probably have a better bet of making your own communication boards and that's what this app does you create your own communication boards to help an, um, an individual communicate throughout their you know day-to-day -day activities um, so it does rely a lot on a communication partner, but once the board's created, then the individual can use the app um, fluidly. So to use the app, you can um, select this. Here are the tabs. This is the main menu. You can select this tab to go to the boards list, and there's a list of preloaded boards. So for example, if you're in a social setting, you click on social setting. Well, excuse me. You click on the word social. See, it's got a little picture of two people shaking hands. So click on social, and then you've got just six little pictures of things that would you typically hear in a social setting. So, for example, here's one that you just tap. What is your name? And so it says, what is your name? And to kind of start a conversation going. This is definitely an app that you'd want to use along with another communication device, mainly because it is somewhat limited in in this area so you'd really have to make you know multiple communication boards if you'd really want to carry on a conversation it also doesn't link together sentences or phrases unless of course you put that sentence or phrase into an actual picture on a template so to create your own template um, go back to the main menu and you can create a new board and here's where you type in the board name you know you're easy QWERTY keyboard, then the layout, and it can go up to nine um, pictures per board. And then the messages part is where you add the pictures. So this is where you would, let's see, go back. Did I pick? Okay, so my layout was one, but let's say I have my layout of nine. So then I save it, and my messages is where I add all my nine images. So I click Add Image, and this is where I click picture. Now you can see you can pick from the symbols library, you can pick a photo from your own photo library, or you can take a new photo, which I think is great because it helps kind of individualize the app for the person that's using it. The message name, of course, is what you would call it. So um, I, instead of thinking off the top of my head, let's go ahead and look at the ones that I created for my daily, my, my 24 hours of not speaking. So I created one called food and drink because I knew I was going to need to eat and drink during the day. So um, I go ahead. I went ahead and made um, tabs to click on for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So for example, here's one. What do you want for dinner? So I would I use that, and then my husband would tell me, and then I would you know he'd help me he'd help me make it. But then. Um, um, you know, the rest of the day, I knew that I'd need to have my dog Will help. You take Noah out? So I, I, you know, I knew I'd need to have my my dog would need to go outside and things like that. Um, so I created, you know, a template with that. I also created a template like this because, you know, I love you. I, you know, I know I need to be saying that to my husband and and um, you know other people that are important in your life. You'd want to make sure that that was included in there. And I, I noticed that it wasn't in the preloaded boards. So, speaking of the preloaded boards, like I said, you can purchase them from um, their kind of their online group, but they're 99 cents per app, and you'd probably be better off just creating your own, like I did with my I Love You board. Um, the settings this is where you can change um, your scanning, the different switch options. So, here I'm just using the touch screen, and you know, I'm able to touch, but individuals who may need a switch or may need um, the visual scanning, that can be added too. Now that's going to be an extra cost, an extra app download, an extra, you know, additional things. But for right now, what I was just using was just for the touch screen. Um, the data collection, this is to list all of the things that, that the app 
includes and then it kind of it'll start to take data too of the times that you've used um, you've used what symbol you it'll it'll take into account um, which kind of group which category you use the most and then that can be put into like an Excel spreadsheet and taken into account so you know for somebody who's maybe trying to whether it's to create new communication boards or to um, you know, to, to better assist someone, you'll want to keep data. So I appreciated that this app took that into account. Um, then there's obviously the help um, button that kind of answers all of the, it helps troubleshoot bits and pieces about sounding board that you may have questions with, um, questions about. And um, then that was kind of it. It, yeah, it talks about the new, you know, the updates and what the updates offer. And, um, that was really it with the sounding board. It, like I said, it's a good it's a good tool to have, but you'd probably want to use it in addition to another communication device. I wouldn't rely on it solely for everything. Um, it is, you know, probably more useful. This version of the app is more useful for individuals who can touch the screen. Um, and then you would have to, like I said before, you would have to rely on a communication partner to help you create the boards and and speak for an individual, you know, as as the individual may not be able to speak for themselves. But overall, it's, it's a pretty good app. It's clear. Um, it's easy to use, which is very important for me. I'm not really a techie, but it's very important for me. So I appreciated that. And it's free. So you can't, you can't beat that. So thanks for listening to my tutorial. Um, and thank you.